Uh, oh, speaking of um, the best Blaze Blue player in America, uh, <laughs> I hear there were some a couple tournaments recently, a couple majors yeah. that um, I'm sorry, which games did you win there? Uh, both Central Fiction and BB Tag. Yes. Uh, two so tournaments both, in a row. In both, two events. Two yeah. in a row. Yeah. both events in both games. On yes. both coasts. S C R C O Taku. Lots of it. In fact, BB Tag, I think at CEO Taco had like 300 some entrants. Yeah, like 320 right? or something. Yeah, like exactly. That. So you're number one out of 320 some entrants. Yeah, well, um. <laughs> <laughs> number one! <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. Here's your trophy. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, you should have yeah, yeah, yeah. given me the Ruby one. Oh, I, 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 I played oh, this one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, there we go. Yeah, okay. Okay, all right. She knows. She knows better than to pick this character because she is the cutest out of all of them. She's the best. Yeah, exactly. Right? She's the best. I know, that's why I picked her. Were you a Ruby mean, fan before BB Tag? Yes, actually, that's why I was, uh, you know, especially in, really like, excited for BB Tag, and mm -hmm. I was like, oh my goodness, Ruby Rose is in this game, and, like, all the <laughs> other Ruby characters, like, seeing that trailer at Evo, I was just like, oh my goodness, like, I have to play this character, like, and then I, I, I am still playing this character, of course. And so, I mean, I know, like, in the most recent patch, she got a few things nerfed just a little bit, but do you feel like that didn't really affect her as much? Uh, it affected the, like, just basically her style of play where you can just, like, do whatever you want. Mm -hmm. and she's a lot more, like, she plays a lot more like how she was supposedly designed to be. Honest. Just say honest. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you can't just mindlessly flail around yeah, buttons yeah, anymore, okay, so okay, you have okay. to, because uh, they added hurt boxes to oh, all the oh, hard gotcha, usable gotcha, gotcha. buttons. So you have to be a lot more precise with it, but her game plan is literally the same. Mm -hmm. I, I don't, like, since I never played that way, I mm -hmm. didn't really, like, you know, flail around, because, you know, you can't really right. do too much with that. Okay. But, um, so I don't really feel a difference, personally. Nice. So it's sort of like the scythe nerf. Yeah, I guess so. Now it has a hurt box on yeah. it. I mean, honestly, that was the most impressive thing about the recent patch, is I felt like it helped. Like, I played Jubei. And I think he's like so much better now, oh, but yes, like not right. broken, right? And then yeah. the characters who were good, they didn't like have the bad reaction where they over nerfed them. You know what I mean? I like mm -hmm. I like how it turned yeah. out. I thought they did a really good job with that. So yeah, no, he's uh he's def he got overhauled completely. Yeah, he's so uh, he's so much better. Yeah, Juve, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He's he's super cool now. I I liked what that balance change mm -hmm. uh, balance patch did for a lot of characters. Cool, cool. Yeah, so I mean, we have some footage actually from CEO Taku that we're gonna queue up, and uh, if you wanna, I guess we can just talk over it and maybe talk about kind of what you did to prepare for these tournaments. And okay. did you know going in that you were gonna do that well? Like absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Absolutely. I was like, I was surprised. I was, I was scrolling to Twitter. I'm like, oh, what is Jonah? Oh, oh. And, and Jonah wanted. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well then, and then like you know, just not too long after. Jonah, Jonah won both games again. <laughs> yeah. well, All over yeah. Twitter, All over, yeah. 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 So I, you know, I, I mean, I, I knew you were a, a great Blaze Blue player, but I, I didn't expect you to win back to back on both games that you. That that, that is so that's very yeah. really impressive. Awesome. Well, here, here we go. Yeah. yeah. If people don't realize yeah. how yeah. crazy yeah. an accomplishment that is, that is something new. Awesome. system yeah. and awesome. Awesome. Oh, this is you said that. I made a really big mistake out. there. <laughs> <laughs> Let's watch it over again. Yeah, no, I was just like, oh man, I don't want to watch me make a mistake. Oh, I'm getting. I'm exactly what Yami wants here. Wake up, Tim. He's coming back. Here it comes again. Yeah, Turbulence is the reverse. I made another mistake there. I made a lot of mistakes. I mean, but it's what's really cool about Yami is that he doesn't care about the outcome. He doesn't care about the outcome. And in midterm, I was thinking about this guy's so really like, Ruby for <laughs> this is like, your Gordo right away. Then, yeah, yeah, it started to look like something was starting, but you know, it had to go to game 10 or game 15. Actually, we played the maximum amount of games possible. Who sent you to leave here? Uh, this is Grand Finals. I was in the right. side and Kyame uh, oh, reset the bracket. Oh, okay, okay, okay. okay. So, he reset the bracket on Yeah, it was 3-2. Yeah, it was 3-2. 
And then winners finals, I sent him to lose three right two, and then it was, just, it was three two, three two, and three two. <laughs> we, 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 we were completely at a bypass there until the very last game. Can you describe what you did to kind of break his onslaught? You said because we came back all the way through a bracket reset. Like, what did you do to finally edge that out in the very end? I mean, it honestly didn't feel like I had to come back per se. Cause it just felt like we were resetting the playing field again. Because you know, it's like he was the one who had to come back, and it was just like we were going back. Back and forth anyway, like none of us ever took two games in a row. It was always just like one game, one game, me, one game. And it just kept going nonstop. And um, yeah, that's just, so it, it just felt like, you know, to me, I was just, I kept on playing my thing and I kept on trying to adapt back to him. <laughs> oh, <he's right> <laughs> so, I mean, for people out there who aren't necessarily familiar with Kame, can you tell us a little bit about him as a player? He is um, essentially what most people call a poverty god. <laughs> and, uh, he actually, he plays a lot of old anime games, and he's extremely good at all of them. He was a, a game called Dengaku Goku Fighting Planet. He was, like, probably one of the best, if not the best player in the world for that game. And he also played um, Arcana Heart, I believe. And he was also very, very strong in that game. Like that. So, yeah. And was he the favorite to win this tournament? You feel like then? Uh, for a lot of people, yes. And especially since he came from Japan, he's really he's a top Japanese player. And in this game too, he's also regarded as being very strong. In that game as well. Oh, oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, that setup was that's I like that setup a lot because if they jump, the move before he also keeps them in place. Can he do it? Yeah. Like, how did you recover with Ruby? <laughs> yeah, I'd, I'd have to look at that again. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, uh, so, oh, so, so this last game was actually pretty clean for you guys. Yeah. It's, like. uh, it, it's good for my heart that it was, because I was already on the edge of the Oh, look at that pop up. Oh, yeah, there we go. There we go. Oh, dang. Okay, okay. I was. Ecstatic to say the very least, <laughs> and I gave him like the firmest handshake because that was literally we literally went to as many games as we could possibly go. Oh, literally the last yeah. game. Yeah, yeah, I tell so everybody this all the time, man. You, know, you, the emotions in fighting games. When I see stuff like that, like that brings me to tears. You know, when you see like. Uh, Super Noon at uh, at uh, Evo when he made Top It and he like broke oh, down yeah, yeah, on yeah. stage yeah. and everything like that and seeing how happy you are. Oh, oh man. Yeah, just, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know. So that was uh, a very special <laughs> moment. It was especially special because my friends afterwards came up to me and said like, you did it. You yeah. were, you, were, like, oh, awesome. you <laughs> actually do. We're so proud of you. And I, yeah. I was just, that, that was to me felt even better. Right. To me, just knowing that my friends were there for me like nice. that. That's, that sounds like an anime. Yeah. <laughs> like, you know, like, <laughs> like, I, I did them for my friends. If it wasn't for my friends, maybe, you know, their, yeah. their, their, their energy would have made me go. Has yeah. there not been like an anime about fighting game? There period? should be. Yeah. I mean, like, isn't, isn't a high score girl? The, yeah, yes. The, the yeah, one that's yeah. like brand new, right? It just came Wait, out. What? What is that? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's basically, it's an anime that covers a lot of different arcade games, but a lot oh. of them are fighting games, and it kind of just... Uh, huh? <laughs> I haven't seen this yet. I haven't seen this really? yet, but I, I see wait. clips of it all the time. They're like playing Street Fighter and like. Huh? Really? Yeah. 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 They, they, they actually one of the funny skits that they have is a uh, new Mortal Kombat, right? Mm -hmm. Of course. Uh -huh. You know, you know, Raiden when he does that super. Oh, yeah. 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 Like, you don't know what he's saying, right? Uh -huh. And there was one skit where it was, I, I thought it was really funny when they were just like, "What is he saying when he's uh -huh. when he's doing that?" It's just like you know, is he saying this or like is he saying and that? that? It's just like we and don't know. And the girl thinks she's like, "Oh, it sounds like he's saying," and then she says something in Japanese, and the guy's like, "Why would he?" Say something in Japanese. Yeah, yeah it's just like, yeah, you know, he's, he's American. He's like, yeah, it's American game, man. Yeah, so that, that show, I haven't caught up with it, but I thought that show was pretty cool. Wait, I heard it gets really deep, too. Is it, is yeah. it new? Uh, Did it come out this year? Yes. yes. Oh, it's, it's like super brand new. Super brand new. It this, came out I this don't year, know. and the, um, the anime just came out this year. The manga's been out for a while. The okay. author is a V-Side player, competitive V-Side player in Japan. Oh my goodness. Dude, that's that. the coolest that's thing. That's the shit. <laughs> wow. No We're going to have to have a watch party, I think. Yeah, I mean, because like, all the game count. footage in there is direct feed game footage. That's like, crazy. It just shows the oh, wow. Right I don't know. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. That's insane. So. This year is literally the year of fighting games. Yeah. I feel like this is like, this, like 2018 is like yes. the fighting game renaissance. Yes. You know? Yeah. It feels yeah. like that, yeah. It's, it's a good time to be alive. Oh, yeah. 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 I believe we also have the Blaze Blue Central Fiction footage Ooh. from Ooh, Central Ooh, we're not Jonah. done yet. No, we're not done with Jonah's victories but, yet. There's just, so many. Before we even from. get... Well, okay, we're going to get there soon, but like... 
Who did you beat in grand finals at SCR for BB Tag? Uh, Kazunoko. Kazunoko. Oh, oh, yeah. 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 Look at you. Kazunoko. Yeah. 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 yeah, I know. Oh, it was some guy, <laughs> some scrub. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh no, go Taking out the Titans, man. I, for Kazunoko, I was heavily prepared for him. So, okay. You know, I, I didn't feel yeah. yeah. as suspenseful. Dang, and you did beat SKD here. You said you think it's the greatest place to play. And he's been winning everything. He's winning a lot. Yeah, in this game. Yeah, definitely. That was, uh, uh, so I'm honestly more surprised, surprised with this than with, uh, overhead coming out oh, of the big. overhead. But Let's I, see what I, he has here. Is this the okay, internal look, monologue? You, you're, you're, I mean, you kind of have him kind of in a lockdown, like a vortex, right there, empty yeah. jump low. You just got the momentum here and never seemed to let him get out of this. Look at that. Oh. That was what, like four separate combos already? Yeah. Oh, jeez. This is the perfect the pressure. Oh, the pressure. No. Perfect. And look at you, you no expression on the face. Yeah. Oh, dude, I saw a smirk. I saw that smirk. <laughs> I saw too. Yeah. <laughs> it's good. Like, I, I heard someone in the background, like one of my friends, say, like, why, why? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I just couldn't help just be like, I'm not going to smirk at you. Yeah. Yeah. Right away, when the smirk started here, we slapped her out. He's, uh, his, like, SQD is just, he's such a well-balanced player. Like, literally everything is fun. Like, he's, just, he's just good at, like, literally everything. He, he loves the game so much. He plays. Now, remember, he's got active floats. He's gonna get a lot of that back. And all there's the RSD. He can catch the press of buttons, but he packs the I was not expecting that to hit either. That's what I mean. Oh! Okay, okay. We already planned to try to do the reset. Still keeping it real. SKD getting his uh, I've seen this combo so many times. He's got You've like, been one. hit by it a lot, too. Yeah, and I've sure. also seen people getting hit by it's it, too. Right right SKD understands that he can't make too many so mistakes to be able to allow Jonah some real estate, right? But he's got so much real estate behind him now. Yeah, now I, I'm like, like, my character, oh, like, his character is really heavy mix of base. My character doesn't really have One more hit here. In Oh, these coming, I know it is. And then it's like, when I'm in the scenario, she has overdrive and like she had like basically the overdrive. Oh, there it is right there. But there's the whip. This dragon punch comes out for SKD. That's the final time. He got the knockout. That's gonna kill. Yeah, and then he like blew up here with this 50 50, and I had to block cross him. There was like a. There was another. That that's that makes him really dumb. And I I just like he hits me with it all the time. I mean that it looks like um I just have really good pressure. Yeah, her pressure is very good. Like she doesn't have like mix up or anything. Oh yeah, yeah. I feel like you can't. Again, the second time. But Aaron blockable by me. Oh, here we go. Gets the knock. Is that, like, honestly, when I'm in scenarios like this, I don't even have time to think about whether if I'm nervous or not. Just kind of you have to just go. Yeah, yeah I, I just, I just, <laughs> just play. Someone who likes to believe his defense, and it ended up working out for him for sure. He's got active flow, so that did extra damage, but most importantly, he's mixed up. Blocked the overhead. I remember I was trying to super. I was trying to super again. He has to. When he is this, yeah. this I think it's going to be a like, Oh, he didn't Carousel. catch a forward roll. Yeah, thank God. I would have done it. Yeah, you got out of the Oh, God. Yeah, not up to the 2C right there. Oh, there's the unlockable. He's trying to do the that you have once you get here. Yeah, so much respect oh, right no. here. Here it comes. Yeah, he activated the overdrive. That was. Uh, thankfully, he didn't activate it earlier. He's touching right now, but look at how much he's believing in the defense. He is remaining stoic. So vigilant right now. Maya is just keeping on it. Finally, he finally opened him up. Finally opened him up. This could be good. He no, he's not gonna kill. He's gonna get one more. Hit. Hit. Oh, no, no. He got the other one. Jonah is gonna go. Oh, the go. Oh, the go. Like, oh, the go. Oh, the go. That, that's like for me that's the scariest part of it. After a hard fight you, grand like, finals. When you Jonah when you know you have championship winning combo and you land it and you're doing the combo, how do you keep that composure just to I actually, now that you say that, I uh, felt so scared. I was just like, <laughs> please do not drop this. Yeah. I will literally die. If I <laughs> and it was like, because um, I actually had meter for Astral there, and mm -hmm. people were wondering, oh, why didn't you Astral? And it's like, it's a down, down, down input. Yeah. And uh, I could have done it, but I feel like if I dropped that, because if I dropped that, like, I would have been super vulnerable for the punish. Yeah. So. If I messed that up, I feel like I, that would literally be like the worst thing ever. So I was like, just <laughs> do a combo. It. Yeah. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, I, I, like if, 
a win's a win. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, so I'll do that. And but yeah, I, like while I was doing it, I was just like, oh my god, please don't drop. <laughs> so so yeah, that's I, I say yes. I was feeling very nervous like, because that's when it really hits you. We're just like, I'm gonna win if I don't fuck this up. I'm gonna. Yeah, it's crazy. Now, who did you beat in grand finals at SCR for this game? Uh, Breaker Dave. Dang. Oh yes, yeah, uh, I remember. I- I remember we had we had him on the show too. He yes. plays Dragon Ball mainly, but uh, you beat, beat him in uh, Central Fiction. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. he actually reset the bracket on me. Oh, wow. and uh, wow. it was it was a close grand finals there too. Dang. He's a tra- he used to be my training partner for mm. BP, so we know each other very well. Oh yeah, I remember oh. you guys telling him you guys trained together. Yeah, we yeah. went. It was really close, so I mean, I'm just you know. It was really, it, it's always nice to fight him in grand finals, even though we do it literally all the time. But, <laughs> but you know, it, it's always cool. Four time champion. Four time yeah, champion. Two weekends yeah. wow. and two weekends. I know, that's crazy. insane. I kept thinking this was a good preview for our Revo that's coming up yeah. because we're going to have four mm-hmm. American stops announced so far, so we're going to oh, see yeah. maybe. So, oh, you're, you're announcing more? Uh, no, we, we've or, had four announced okay, already. Okay, okay. You know, okay, okay. Uh, just it, for, it. for North America. I see, I see. Um, so, personally, on our side, we were really excited to see you, you know, take the championship at both tournaments. Uh, and to have you here today, so we really wanted to present you with this uh, this crown. Oh, <laughs> fitting the winner. Oh, what is that? It's a crown. It's in good shape. Okay. All right. Well, there I, you I go. Guess oh, I'll that's beautiful. You. That's okay. what you get for, for winning. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Awesome. I guess I'll keep this on for the rest of the, of the day. Yeah. <laughs> see if you win. You know your next tournament, which is going to be slice, dice, and rice. Oh yeah. Okay. I've never. I've like literally. I've heard of this game. <laughs> I think I played like a little bit. Of it, Excellent. Excellent. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> um, before <laughs> yeah, we go into yeah, that, we have a, one more video from CEO Taku, and it's going to be uh, the Guilty Gear Grand Finals. Oh, okay. You can pull that right up and give it a watch. Of course, all three of these games are going to be part of the Arc Le- mm-hmm. uh, the Arxis World Tour. Yes, yes. So. Which is starting this weekend in London, actually. Ooh. Whoa! Yeah. It's beginning already. Alright, so this is it. A long road ahead of Mr. K right now. It was looking like he was going to tie it up one game apiece, but instead he's down to zero. Side, so he's Already got up to oh. to make it happen right here, Chip. right now. Right. If you want to stay alive, Chip is very strong. Oh, 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 no, no, oh, wow, well, I totally forgot. Oh, first that situation oh, earlier. <laughs> Six H anti air. Is that bad luck? Should I take this off? <laughs> so instead of, instead of, uh, Bowsette, we'll call him Joan Jett. <laughs> oh, that's, oh, what oh, Joan, that's what we're doing. Yeah. There you go. That's what we're doing. Oh, Joan Jett. I, I, I didn't understand the... Yeah, I was like, Joan okay. Jett. <laughs> I, I, I can't imagine what I would look like. Fan art, please. It doesn't matter. You would still be a champion, right? Yeah, yeah. That's the whole thing. I, I guess, so. fair enough. Yeah, you're <laughs> Dang, champion. look at this. Oh, Summit is just dominating here right now. So with that said, can someone draw uh, Jonah as Peach? <laughs> yeah. uh, you know, We're safe. safe right now. <laughs> Get, get, get Shuna out of here something. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> oh my goodness, okay. I mean, I mean she, she already drew me once. There you go. That's my profile picture right now. Oh, no. It's actually me when I gave Kyame a death stare. I did, actually did not notice I did. Oh, like, oh that's what it is. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's, it's the story behind that was like, I uh, when he reset the bracket, he DP'd both my characters and they killed both of them. And I don't know, like... For one, I was just like feeling like, oh, that happened, and then like, I guess I just so happened to be looking at him, at the, looking over at him at the same time, so it looks like I'm really mad, even though I'm not. <laughs> but but oh well, I got made into a mean picture. So. <laughs> nice. Oh no. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. And uh, he lived up to it too. You know, it's funny. So I, I can speak Japanese. So I actually, after the tournament, I talked with him for a little bit, and I overheard some conversations. And, you know, and uh, I remember one of them was just like, uh, you know, he's uh, do you think Chip's strong or anything? And he's just like, no, I think he sucks, but I'm really good. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> Yeah, it's just like, I'm really strong, but I don't think my character is. And then all the players out there who hate Chip just got, we're just like, what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, oh, you know, why are you saying that? Yeah, and then he's just Whoa. like, and then Bears, another Chip player. Yeah. Oh, he was in the background. Like, yeah, he's like bottom seven or bottom six or something. Chip is not Bears a high tier character. No, yeah. he's not considered that Bears great. But hey, if you, can, if you can use him, you know, at a high level, then. I mean, I'll listen to Samito. He's, uh, he's yeah. literally the best Chip in existence. So I, I figure what he says must be the truth, right? <laughs>
At least for me, because I'm an outsider. But I'm sure for the people inside, they're just like, oh, you know. <laughs> There's no way it can be true. I mean, so at this point, though, having won those two tournaments back to back, right? Especially see Otaku, because like I said, lots of entrance mm -hmm. and stuff. How do you feel about our, the Arc World Tour coming up? Do you feel like you're champ? I mean, you know, jo kind of joking about this upstairs, you're like, what happens if you win multiple? You know, what yeah. happens? Yeah. 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 Like, theoretically speaking, if someone yeah. were to win multiple I was, I actually, in multiple I, games. I swear, I swear I was talking about, like, so if someone like SKD would do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Right. Yeah, sure. Sure. Okay. Like, yeah. I just, I'm just naturally inclined to think that. <laughs> oh, I mean, how how do you feel your chances are now for, for the Art World Tour? I'm uh, not sure, really. I can't really say. It's because, like, <laughs> Japanese players are going to keep on coming, and, you know, they're just, they're just going to keep getting stronger and stronger. I mean, higher stakes, you know, like yeah, it's it's, yeah. the, it's the first you know, Arxis mm -hmm. World Tour, yeah. and a lot of these players are gonna train extra hard for this. You yeah, know, exactly. the first like official they're... champion of you know for the res each respective game, right? Yeah. So, right. Um, I mean, are, are, how are you planning to train? Any anything different, or are you just gonna just train normally? Play good old, you know, play through. <laughs> yeah, it's like there's more and more people coming, so yeah. it's just like it's gonna get harder and harder, but um. I'm gonna, for I guess, just prepare for those opponents specifically. And I see, I see. Just refine myself as time goes on, see how much I can, and then hopefully I can do well. Yeah. Represent SoCal, baby. I know, let's I know. This, let's go. You know, as Ark says, I can't be biased, but I'm super biased. Like, <laughs> <laughs> please, please do us proud. I'll, I'll, I'll try my best. I all can't right. guarantee I can get in, but I'll, I'll try my best. If all right. That's all we can ask for. <laughs> okay. All right, so yeah. let's roll into our next tournament, which is going to be Slice, Dice, and Rice. So uh, I believe, again, most of you guys are familiar with it. We've talked mm -hmm. about it before on the show. Um, it's uh, now available on PS4 and Switch. Mm -hmm. It's a game that is a, it's a fighting game without health meters and health yeah. bars, right? Uh -huh. That was the whole concept of it. And it's super beautiful. It's like Bushido Blade, kind of this hyper-stylized Japanese painting yeah. painterly style i guess and, that's a um, nice uh, artistic aesthetic, aesthetic too yeah. very yeah. high contrast yeah we were yeah. talking, yeah. We were talking yeah. earlier about it it reminds me a lot of muramasa the demon blade which mm. oh yeah very, which is a very beautiful game, game. Yes, oh my god yeah. so good. i love it so much too yeah but i it, love it it's interesting because the game has no blocking like you said no health bar yeah. and so it's super focused on the spacing mm -hmm. yeah. which is such an important part of fighting Funny. games mm -hmm. and i actually feel like this is a really good game that teaches people Fighting game yeah. fundamentals. But the thing is, yeah, like, exactly. it has weapons too, so yeah, the yeah, distance yeah. matters. Yeah. I mean, there's no blocking, well. but there is. Ref uh, you can reflect. Yeah. Like parries. So, yeah, 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 so there's yeah, yeah. parries. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So it teaches, yeah, it teaches you the fundamentals, spacing, uh, and then, you know, just working on a neutral game and stuff. So yeah. I think it's uh, it's fun. I yeah. actually like it. I like it a lot. Yeah. So. yeah. Another really? another point I really like as an American is that this game was actually developed in the West. The developers oh, are really? Polish, oh, and our yeah. system oh, picked it up and then published it, in, you know, worldwide oh, on consoles okay. in Japan. Oh. So my favorite stories are, you know, growing up as a fan of Japanese culture is to see the stuff that we we were inspired by these things. We make mm -hmm. it and it gets taken back to Japan, like wow. Soul Girls. Slice, dice, and rice. It just feels Damn. great to see our Ruby. community doing that. Yeah. Ruby, yeah, yeah. yeah absolutely. Yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, we're gonna take a quick five-minute break, and then we're gonna get right into that tournament. So, be back in five minutes. 